So let's go into your reading. Um, the first three, well, the, the three cards that really stood out for me is we have here career is going really, really well. Okay, so this is your finance sector. We have here the Divine Protection card. So this is a, a card about being very, very judicious about where you are spending your money, how you are accumulating money. And this is a card about having a lot of command and control over your money, where you are in a position that you're managing other people or you are making your money grow and work for you. This is a card about somebody who, you know, has... um has great command, great power, great authority as well. So some of you are getting a major career boost where you are thrust into a supervisory position or a position where you're managing other people. So you might be dealing physically with uh, assets or money that you're managing for other people. You're managing your own money or you are kind of like, if you're doing accounting, for example, or if you're doing um, procurement, I feel like you're... you're um, facilitating the flow of money to people who are either working um, under you or to colleagues, okay? So this is a great card about taking control and having great command over your financial situation. I do feel as well, sometime for this month, you are going to be in a position where you are going to have to channel, you know, the, the, the energies of... Um, things that you were taught as a child. So I feel like these are personal values, personal things that you have either um, been taught at a young age and you're going to have to hold very close to those values. So for example, it's a little bit of a convoluted message, so I apologize. Let me try to give you like a, you know, an example here. So let's just say that, you know, if you, you were raised in an environment where you felt that honesty, honor, and um, hard work, if you feel like those are the three things that you really value, you're going to get validation from that. Okay, so it's telling you to be in a position where you stand really firm for the things that you believe in, that you're, you know where you stand, and that even if people don't agree with you, you know where you stand. So don't compromise yourself for whatever reason, don't compromise. Uh, there is a very strong energy for corruption and corruption will be un unraveled and it will be revealed because it is mercury in retrograde hold on very strongly to your values don't do anything that you're not supposed to and especially you know uh, conduct yourself in an honorable fashion hold tight to your values okay it is a very strong message channel through the emperor so i feel that you want to be on the up and up and you want to be very very honest and very clear about your objectives okay um the other thing i'm sensing here we do have a flashback um relationship sector we have here the six of um cups and this is a past life energy past life energy it, it sometimes it deals with a physical person that's returning from the past it could be you know like a past life energy is where you recognize each other and they're returning back into the picture for whatever reason because you might have unfinished business. But I feel like this past life energy harkens back to a situation where you felt very uh, loved, very safe, and very secure. And so what I'm sensing is this. You have a relationship partner that's in the picture for you. And we have here a water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is somebody who's very nurturing, very uh, maternal. It could be a male or a female, but their energy is very loving, very nurturing. This is a person that has been through quite a bit of emotional upheaval in their own past. They might have been through a divorce. They might have dealt with, you know, drug, alcohol issues in their past. They might have had blemishes in their past, but I feel like they have grown from it. They have mature and they take ownership for the their their past actions their past indiscretions and i feel like for some of you this is somebody that is really nurturing for you and it feels almost as if you have a soulmate connection with this new person new person it feels as if you have a soulmate connection where you feel very secure very loved okay so i feel like it's hearkening back to a past life energy in a similar situation where you felt this way so there's a lot of love support emotional exchange 
coming through in your relationship sector with another person and you feel safety and you feel really secure where you're able to express yourself and you're able to have a um, I almost feel like because the person is very supportive of you, you feel almost like invincible. You feel like you can do anything. So I have some really solid, good things coming through in your relationship sector, which is really good. I, I want to see this for you. Um, going back to the past energy, when it comes to like a physical person from the past coming back into the picture, we have here a situation with somebody that might have uh, started out with good intentions, but I feel like it's soured very quickly. So you're, you're dealing with so many uh, water signs. So I have here a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a past energy. Okay. This is somebody you might have dated and you might have wanted to reconnect with this person. And uh, these are separate entities. Okay. These are separate people. And I just want to say that uh, the energy for this person here is I feel like at their worst, they can be a little bit emotionally manipulative. They don't take ownership for things that they have done in the past. And so we can see a very, very clear dichotomy when it comes to objectives and motives between these two people. And so this is not an energy for you to bring forward. I feel like this person is on their way out and um, they might have the best intentions, but I feel like they lack the ability to follow through. They lack the ability to formulate practical steps in order to deliver on the things they, that they promise. So I feel like, you know, um, promises that were not lived up with this person from the past, you have to let that go because it's being blocked out. Okay. Um, going back to your, um, travel sector, I feel a lot of you are going to be communicating here heavily. And this is somebody that you might be taking a trip with. You might have many, many philosophical discussions with. And this is somebody that's bringing you a lot of, um, I just see a lot of heavy communication with this person. So this is an earth sign, Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And uh, what I'm sensing is this. I feel like they are somebody who's a little bit fixed in their ways. They want certain things done in a very specific manner. So I feel like they're almost perfectionistic and they're almost like um, a little bit too rigid in their thinking. And um, if you're dealing with this person who is foreign to you, so if you're in a sales capacity and you have to deal with this person who might live overseas or you might have like, you know, overseas type of communication with this person or you might be traveling with this person overseas i feel that there is going to be a little bit of a communication mishap my advice when dealing with this situation here is that the communication that is coming from them is due to some type of unresolved conflict that they are feeling they're feeling less than they're feeling a little bit out of their element and so if you argue with them, um, just make sure that you understand where they're coming from. Okay. They're feeling a little bit like of a financial lack. They're also dealing with some type of mishaps in their own personal life where they feel outside of their element. Everything that they're used to is not there. So if, you know, um, a lot of the times when we travel to, we're thrust outside of our elements. Physically, we feel that uh, geographical displacement. We feel like the comforts and the amenities are not in place. And we feel, we deal with a lot of uh, touchy, uh, friction-like energies. So they're a little bit irritable. And so communicating with them, I feel like you're not going to be able to reach a consensus. You're not going to be able to reach a... Um, I want to say you're not going to be able to reach like a middle ground. So I feel that it is best for the, for them to, for, for you to leave them, like give them a lot of space and giving them, you know, like do different activities uh, without each other. You do your own thing. They do their own thing and reconvene at a later date because I feel like they're generally a little bit irritable. If you're dealing with this person, if you're dating this person and they're of a different cultural background or even from a different country, there will be values differences where you are need, going to need to stand firm and you're going to need to really, you know, um, hold on very tightly to your values. So don't compromise. So if they're telling you, if they're in the work sector even, and they're telling you, you should do it this way. And I feel like you are going to be in a position where you need to tell them, 
how it is. Okay. So I feel like you're not keeping yourself, um, you're not holding back when it comes to things that you need to say. You're going to give people like a piece of your mind, but I don't feel you're doing it in a, um, aggressive or confrontational manner. You're just going to hold true to your values and you're not going to want to, um, do some anything that is sketchy shady in order to get a specific result so just be careful when dealing with somebody that might be a, a foreigner to you and they're telling you to do something that you feel like wait a minute that is kind of immoral or uh it goes against your better judgment so just be careful about getting reeled in or roped in by somebody who might be a foreigner to you that is an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn don't do anything that you feel doesn't really pass that good judgment test okay career sector we have some really outstanding things and um i'm an aquarius too and i really like to see this so in your career house we have the sun and this is a card about making traction in your career path. This is a card about, you know, uh, no longer facing pessimism and self-doubt as to the career track that you're supposed to be in. You are in alignment with source energy here. And this is coming through in the um, 10th house, which is kind of like the midhaven. And what it indicates here with this card is that for some of you, Whatever you've been doing in the past, if you feel like there were a lot of um, blockages to getting you where you need to go for your career, there were a lot of blockages for getting visibility, getting people to look at your resume, getting people to give you a call back for an interview, getting people to promote you. I feel like all of these blockages are fading away they're melting away so that you can shine like you can shine you can be in a position where a lot of people are looking at you you can be in a position where you are accumulating a lot of positive accolades and success and a lot of just you know positive energy people helping you to get where you need to be so i do see it's sort of like you know i feel like the past um few months um i would say five months Many of you have had um, a lot of self-doubt when it comes to the direction of your career. And you're feeling like, is this the right path for me? Am I meant to be doing this? This is the month in which you are getting validation that your hard work is going to start paying off. People are going to pay you a lot of a positive attention. They're giving you a lot of positive feedback. You're in alignment with source energy. So it basically means you're on the right track with your career. Your resumes, if you have been submitting them, they're going to be looked at. If not looked at, they, I feel like it might have already happened in the, the March time frame for some of you, but the energy is extending into this month as well. So you're going to get very positive reception. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you, well, um, I feel like some of you, and I feel like actually more than some, possibly half of you, you have extended a lot of resources, right? When it comes to your uh, higher education. So you might have, you know, gone to get that additional degree. You might have made a lot of sacrifices in your own personal life, uh, financially, emotionally. And um, I'm getting like a very, it's, it, it's almost like you made a lot of sacrifices in order to get in an additional degree, in order to keep yourself in school. Um, and I feel like it was a heavy, heavy uh, financial expense. It was at the expense of your social life. It was at the expense of, um, so it, it was, a, a, it's sort of like delaying your career path in order to get an additional degree. And uh, uh, the past few months, you have been kind of um, doubting yourself. Did I make the right investment? Did I just waste my time getting that additional degree? And I feel like, no, you're getting that validation. No, you didn't waste your time because you're being noticed because of that additional degree. If you have been enrolled in a, if you have, you know, not um, applied for work because you were busy going to school, I feel like you're being pushed in the right direction because that additional schooling, that additional diploma, that additional certificate, that additional um, certificate of accomplishment for that specific, um, either a specific skill set or a specific training course 
is going to reap benefits for you long term for your career. So if you have been doubting yourself, you're definitely you don't need to doubt yourself anymore. You're on the right track and you're going to get recognition for all the sacrifices that you're making. OK, so Aquarius, I really want to see this for you because I feel like there has been a lot of um, shifting energies, a lot of self-doubt coming through for the past five months. And this is the month in which things are getting solidified for you. And it's funnily enough, it's also, you know, Mercury retrograde. So naturally, we want to be careful about communication. But I feel like Mercury retrograde usually is a time for you to sift through some of that, you know, the, the emotional closet to declutter it, to clear it out so that you can move on with a lot of ambition, drive and a better sense of purpose as to where you're supposed to be professionally. OK, in terms of the work sector, too, we have here the eight of cups and this is a situation where we're going back to revisit something so i feel a lot of you are revamping your resume a lot of you are also uh going back to um to look at employ employers or to look at whatever you have applied for i feel like employers are getting in touch with you like uh, it, it might be you know two three months after you applied but they're getting you a call back so you're going through you know either interview process or you're revisiting something that you put in an application for at the same time if you are not looking for new work or if you haven't started new work this is a card about uh, returning to previous clients as well. This is about returning back to a previous um, case of previous um, case that you manage, a previous um, portfolio that you manage so that you can get compensation, so that you can get paid for it. OK, so all very good cards. Um, I'm not, I, I feel like with this card, what it basically means is whatever has been blocking you in the career sector, in the work sector, these things are clearing up so you can revisit it. You can revisit it. And I feel like you have invested the past eight months into some heavy endeavor and you're going to get some type of a reward coming through. It could be just, you know, a congratulations, the re the victory or the reward might be very internal. But I do sense that it's going to give you, you know, that validation that you're on the right track, that you're doing um, you're in a career track that you're meant to be in. OK. Um, when it comes to partnerships, you're no longer working at cross purposes with one another and you're no longer doubting yourself. I do feel there has been a lot of like inner conflict and the inner conflict is playing out in a way where you might not be sure if you're headed in the right direction. You might not be sure. It's almost like you're in a good relationship and you're just like, how is this going to work out long term? I feel like a lot of you coming into this month you're able to be emotionally and physically invested in the present moment. You're not thinking so far ahead into the future that you start to scare yourself. And you're not ruminating about the past where you are mired in, um, you know, self-doubt, whether or not you did the right thing, whether or not you did everything in your capabilities to make something work. So your head space, and this is the first that I've ever seen for you guys, Aquarius. Your headspace is very emotionally invested, mentally invested in the here and now. And so you are very grounded. And um, I feel like you're making better decisions because you're not scattered. You're very centered. You're very centered here with this um, crown chakra energy coming through with the sun. You're also very grounded here with this world card where you, you have possibilities coming through, like opportunities as well. But you're grounded enough to um, take control of your life. Okay, so with this energy here in the fourth house, it basically means your practical responsibilities are taken care of. You are able to work on your routine and to clear up frivolous activities, spending too much time watching TV, spending too much time on social media, connecting with people and spending too much time. I want to say like looking at um, I, I see a lot of glossy pictures. So that means magazines. That can also mean Instagram. That can also mean Facebook, like social media. And um, because you are cutting away at, um, you know, cutting away activities that might be very frivolous, I feel like your household is being whipped into shape. I see a really clean uh, decluttering type of energy where you're getting your household uh, spotless, which is something I don't see a lot for Aquarius. Um, I don't feel like you, you give your space a thorough cleaning. 
as much as you would like. And I feel like this is happening for this month. And so it's a really good energy um, overall. This is a card as well. Um, when it comes into your fourth house, this is uh, also indicative of reunion, things coming into full circle. And uh, I'm seeing that a lot of you have uh, resolved a lot of karma from the past where you are no longer bogged down by childhood conditioning to behave a certain way, to believe a certain way. You're keeping yourself very open-minded and you're keeping yourself as well very in alignment with your values. So you're not working to con in conflict with the energies from, you know, childhood conditioning. You're at least um, in agreement with the fact that, you know, hey, mom and dad taught me to be a good person. I grew up to be a very good person. And so I feel like you're understanding a lot of um, cycles in your own life. You're understanding a lot of patterns that are repeating and how to break those patterns for good, okay? Um, the energy is very, very positive. There's very, very positive, um, good, good healing energy, good um, like insights, good understanding of how to break cycles when it comes to childhood conditioning, how, it, how to break cycles when it comes to like irrational fears that you might have about yourself, self-doubt in yourself, or even irrational fears about relationships. So something is culminating, something is coming to an end, and new beginnings is um, looks a lot more prosperous and a lot more fruitful. So you're carrying um, lessons from the past, lessons learned. You're moving into a better phase in your life. It indicates a lot of expansive energy. So a lot of you might physically bring new people into the household, such as a pet or a, um, you know, a, a new, a new child into the picture. So this is a really, really good card overall. Okay. I do see a lot of travel here with family members. So people that you live with, you might be traveling with them. And uh, I see a lot of trips taken. I see a lot of, um, there's just a lot of expansive energy and it looks really good, Aquarius. Um, friendship sector, reconnecting with friends. I do see that a lot of social functions that also, um, blends in as well. Um, professional contact. So I, I got a similar energy for Capricorn, but I feel like for you, your friends are usually very eccentric and they're very non-traditional types of people. And I feel like you like your friends to be a little bit more quirky. And so I feel like you're dealing with friends who are very uh, progressive, who have like, um, who are very forward thinking. So you're dealing with friends who are very open minded. And because they're so open minded, I feel like you feel very at ease with them. So if this is a really good month for you to reconnect with old friends and um, old acquaintances. Okay. 